everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Damn! I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. from Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Dr. Crowther, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowther is in a serious condition. Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His 
pupils oh. respond properly? Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of this disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests, primarily a CT scan of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Krauter. Okay, what should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectives. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting... 3.16. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. It. Please make sure it works. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Responsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. Secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Oh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. I have got good news and bad news. The bad news is our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried, but I've seen a spare. That's the good news? Yeah, precisely. I'm going back for it. Ah, I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on.
Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Android bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Could be the servo motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking! It's a drill! So damn loud! Phew. It's finally stopped. Yes, sir. Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius.
I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. Damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Someone, I'm following the signal.
revanche. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it, didn't even turn it off. That is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. Journal. Geological cross section measurements. Here's a Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Someone, I'm following the signal. Signals coming from a cast of backpack. That's concerning.
She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit. Marit. It's me, Yasna. She's not moving. Thank you. 